How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21 and recently I've been receiving a lot of questions about the MySteelPort emulator, so today I thought I'd show you how to install the program for Saints Row the 3rd and Saints Row 4. If you're unaware of MySteelPort, the feature used to operate through the Saints Row community site where you could upload screenshots or download custom-made bosses directly into your game. The service was shut down four years ago, but thankfully in 2019, Saints Row Modern Minimal made the MySteelPort emulator, allowing PC players to once again share custom bosses and screenshots. So with that out of the way, let's get started with the tutorial. First, we need to download the emulator from SaintsRowMods.com. You can either click on the link in the description or search Saints Row MySteelPort emulator to quickly find it. Now on the MySteelPort emulator page, scroll down to the bottom of the first post and download the latest version of the program, version 1.1.7. Once it's downloaded, extract the zip file to any location, but for this example, we'll be extracting it to the desktop. From here, there are two separate methods you can follow. The first I'll be showing is for both Saints Row the 3rd and 4, but if you'd prefer a simpler method for just Saints Row 4, go to this timestamp. Anyway, go to your Windows search bar and type in Notepad. Now right-click the application and run in administration mode. Next, click on File, then Open. From here, we need to open a specific host file which can only be found by clicking this PC, Local PC, Windows, System32, Drivers, and ETC. If the folder appears to be empty, come down to the file type and make sure it's set to all files. Now double click the host file. All we have to do now is create a new line of code at the bottom and type this in. If you're worried you might screw it up, you can copy and paste the line from the description. Once you've done that, go back up to file and click save. If that was a bit too complicated and you only care about Saints Row 4, this other method is quite simple. In your Steam library, right click on Saints Row 4 and go to properties. All you need to do from here is type hyphen community localhost into the launch options. Not only is it that simple, it's been reported that doing this can also improve the performance of the game. Not a bad little bonus. But okay, now that we have the emulator installed, we still need some characters to download in-game. You can locate custom-made bosses on the Saints Row Mods website under the other section in the forums. As just an example, let's go with the infamous Cyrus Temple outfit. Once you've downloaded the file included in the post, you should either see a zip folder or a single file that's a string of numbers. This file here is the custom boss. Now open the MySteelPort emulator folder, open characters, and simply drop the file in there. Now that we're set up to try the program, open the MySteelPort emulator exe and open up the Saints Row of your choice. At the main menu, wait a few seconds for this message to appear to know the emulator is working. Now we just need to sign in. The program tricks the game into believing your account is connected to the old server, so you just need to type in any random password. Seriously, anything will do and it doesn't need to be remembered. All you need to do now is head to any player cosmetics shop and click on character gallery to select your downloaded bosses. And there you go! If you'd like to make a file for your own boss, using the upload option will automatically make a new file in the character folder. Though if you want to name the boss, you'll need to select the character renamer exe in the MySteelPort folder and load the right character file. The last thing worth mentioning is you can take screenshots again using camera mode. Each shot you save is automatically added to the screenshot folder. And yeah, that's how you install the MySteelPort emulator. I'd like to give a special thanks to Minimal for making this amazing project and the Mega Freeman for teaching me the Saints Row 4 method to run the emulator. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns installing the MySteelPort emulator, please let me know in the comments below. Like always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. That's right, time to work it!